Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create a pixelated version of any image in Blender. It's pretty easy, there's plenty of tutorials to do on it, but below this node setup right here is pretty much all you need. So let me just show you real quick from scratch. I'm going to go ahead to add, I'm going to go ahead and import my image as planes, which is an add-on for Blender. I'm just going to search through my downloads and I'm going to find something that I can use. For example, this Slack logo, okay? I'm going to move it off to the side here go to my shading tab and then in my node setup right here okay I'm going to scale this out a little bit in my node setup I'm going to add a Voronoi texture I'm going to add it right here I'm going to plug in the position to the vector I'm going to turn down this random value and then as long as I mess with this scale value right here I can get a pixelated version of pretty much anything I want what's really cool is I can even add a video and it'll work on the video so watch what happens if I use this video of ocean waves ready for this guys here's a video of ocean waves now in order to make this work you have to adjust your frames yep there we go so make sure you put the amount of frames that your video takes place in i'm just going to copy the same boronoid node i'm going to paste it in see if it lets me copy it paste it doesn't want to let me copy and paste it that's all right i will search for it i will plug in the position right here and then I will just lower my random value and raise my scale up a little. Now, if I play this back, I have to raise my frames. If I play this back, look at that. We have this nice little pixelated version of our beach. And we can adjust the amount of pixels that we want. How fun is that? And you can, of course, you can scale this on the Y if you want to. Make it a little bit more square. And we have our pixelated version of our ocean. And I think that looks fun. I probably might scale it up a little bit. I think that's awesome. And it's super like relaxing to look at. It's very subtle, but it's cool. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is probably my favorite example right here is this one because we have uh, some good scaling with it. And as we scale it down, we kind of get this simplified version, but it looks cool. And you can see that you could take a logo or maybe your own logo and you could figure out what it could look like in a simpler version by using this technique. I think it's awesome. I love Blender's um, node setup because we can do pretty much anything with it. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know down in the comments below. Drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.